What's up, everybody? It's your boy, Jeremy J. Fit, and I'm back with a brand new video on this channel. What's going on, y'all? As you all know, during this mo month, I'm doing the whole vegan, vegetarian, meatless thing. So, I'm back at the Savory Leaf Cafe. As you all remember, um, the last video I did, I had went here and had their awesome um, food, you know, their cheesesteak and burgers and fries. So I said, you know what, I'm gonna come back here and I wanna try everything else on their menu. So today I got <laughs> there, I wanted to try something new. So I have went and got their, this is their vegan, this is their mac and cheese here. This looks very good, it is still hot and I cannot wait to get into that. And then I also got there. Get it out of the bag. All right, let me get out the bag. Okay. I also got their, <laughs> their vegan ribs and fries, as you can see right here. So this right here is gonna be a lit meal, so. <laughs> so. As you all see, I got the uh, the mac and cheese and the ribs with fries. This is going to be lit. Oh man, I cannot wait to get into this meal. I'm so hungry right now. This whole vegan vegetarian thing has been really hitting me. But overall, I've still been able to perform in the gym and been able to, you know, get a lot of stuff done i know it's like it's been a struggle in the beginning and i know it's gonna be a struggle at the end but yeah, i'm gonna maintain i'm gonna push through it i still don't know if i'm gonna make it a lifestyle though because you know it's a lot of other food places that i want to try that does that that are not vegan so <laughs> i don't know but before we get into this um before we get into this meal if this is your first time on this channel, hit that subscribe button if you haven't done so already. Also, turn on your post notifications so that way you'll be notified whenever I drop a brand new video on this channel. And also, follow me on all social media platforms at Jeremy J. Fit on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok. And also, do not forget every Thursday night at 9 o'clock, me, Brick Wall Entertainment, we live on Twitch and we talk about a lot of viral foolishness, a lot of situations or issues that goes on in the world, a lot of different things. And me, Brick Wall, and a few of our other friends, we just it's just a whole vibe over there every time we all get together on um, that platform. So stay tune in every Thursday night at nine o'clock on Twitch. The information will be in the description below. And don't forget to subscribe to his YouTube channel and to his Twitch. All right. Now, let's get into this video. Fit fam, let's get into this meal. We're going to start off with the... We're going to start off with the ribs. We're going to start off with the ribs here. Um, ooh, it's a lot. It's um, very... Ooh, it smells good. So, I'm, I guess... um. You only got the vegan barbecue sauce. You only got the onions on here. And it's placed over fries, if you notice. It's placed place over fries and the barbecue sauce. I believe this um the ribs, you know, is pretty much it's jack it's jackfruit. So this is actually gonna be my first time eating jackfruit. Um <laughs> so I, I don't know, but I know this is gonna be later. This is gonna be good. So not talking. Let's get into this video. Let's get into this meal. Gotta go off with the fries first. You know, this is really good. You no, know, I already said the last time their fries are always lit. So, I don't care what nobody says. Their fries hit. All right. Gonna we'll get the ribs. This is the ribs. Let's see what this is shooting for. Let's see. Mm. OK, 
Okay. Hey, wait a minute. I see y'all. Hold up, hold up. Try to get back into the fry. Oh. There. Now there, the ribs. It is so nice and tender. It is so, it's nice and tender. Has a good, right amount of texture. There's the barbecue sauce. It's not too chewy. It's not too more, it's like, it's not too rough. It is just the right amount how it's supposed to be cooked. And it actually, it breaks apart. You know, it falls, it's like it falls apart. If you can see this, like, look, like, it, it, it already breaks apart. This this is actually good to all my vegans and um vegetarians out there. If you want one nice vegan ribs, and if you're in the Jersey area, the Jersey area, um Trenton, Lawrence, Hamilton area, Ewing area, come over um the, the Savory Leaf Cafe and try their vegan ribs. Trust me. Yeah. It, it, no lie. This is good. And the barbecue sauce, it's a sweet, tangy type taste. And then the, and you got the onions with it and it just brings out more of a texture with it. It just like brings out a better texture and a better taste. And I love every minute like every taste like the taste is it hits you instantly as soon as you bite into it and also like I said the barbecue sauce is sweet and tangy so you put all that together it's just an explosion in your taste buds taste buds just explode and it's like wow why haven't I done this sooner like I could have been did this. Like if I was vegan, I would I would not I would actually have to get the recipe to make this at home. Cause I don't see how man. Man. Now, I'm not going to say that I would prefer this over regular ribs, but I am going to say it's neck and neck. And this is only for me eating this for the first time. This is my first time ever having vegan wings. And I want to be able to, um, to enjoy my food. And I'm actually enjoying this. Sorry, I'm talking too much, but I got it. I want to interact with y'all and eat at the same time. But yo, this food is not. We didn't even get to the mac and cheese yet, and I know the mac and cheese guy gonna be hitting too. It has to be. I've never had vegan mac and cheese, so we're gonna see how that what that hit for. But now, nah, this right here. You got every single taste bud in here. Ooh, the onion was falling off. Man, just look at this. Nah. Why nobody didn't tell me about this before? And they're gonna find out this place been here almost like for, for a while. I mean, for years it's been here, and I never knew. Man, if I had known that, I would have been started eating here. And this is so, like, I wonder how this was taste on a, in a sandwich. Next time I come back here, I'm going to get the sandwich version of this. And then you put it over the fries, which is a lot 
tasty. You're like, oh my goodness, like, like why? <laughs> Oh my gosh. I don't know, y'all. It's almost making me want to convert. But I gotta try other vegan restaurants too. Because it's a couple more vegan restaurants that I want to try. We'll soon find out later on. <laughs> but yo, save relief. Y'all did y'all thing with this. Y'all did y'all thing. Like, y'all did y'all thing. Like, like, I'm actually enjoying it. Yo. I can't believe this. So all my vegans, vegetarians, comment down below your best vegan dish that you can either cook or you ever tried at a restaurant. Comment down below your best vegan dish. And also comment down below who you, which vegan restaurant you think got the best, got the best um, vegan um, ribs. If you think got the best vegan ribs, comment that down below. Cause I need to find, I need to know. No matter where it's like, I need to travel and see where, like who had the best vegan dish. Like it's either in, either in New Jersey, Pennsylvania, New York, Delaware, anywhere, comment down below that place and send and, and even send me the picture so I can actually see. Cause baby. I've never been this much hurt up on vegan food like how I am now. Man. And outside of me always I've been eating all this week. Like Mad Mac throughout this whole month, all I've been eating was like cauliflower wings, broccoli. It was also um some brown rice. That's what I eat during the week, you know, when I go to the gym. You know, on the weekends, this is actually, you know, how I cheat. So this is technically, this is my cheat day. This is my cheat meal in a healthy way. Because, <laughs> you know, not the vegan. <laughs> no vegan. Like, I always do that. Even though I'm on a diet. When I'm trying new diets and I have a cheat day, I make sure I cheat in a healthy way. Besides what you've seen in my other videos before. So <laughs> no way. I'll go back. I will go back to that um to that later this year. But right now, like I said, this month is gonna be like, you know, making sure my body gets ready. So when I do go back to that. But I might end up circling back around to the vegans. <laughs> so, I don't know. We will see what happens because this is going to be a lot to consider. But also, what I notice is when, you know, about. Man, I don't feel like going to the store spending no money. I gotta cook some of my I gotta cook some of my food, so I'm gonna need to get a little uh a vegan cookbook. Or I gotta get different recipes, you know, from other 
people to see how, um, see what am I going to make, you know, how to cook whenever I got time. <coughs> so. I don't know. But when I notice, I always, because me working during the week, you know, and then going to the gym, the time I get home, I don't be having no time to try to cook anything because when I, when I cook, well, for one, I don't eat past a certain time. So, I get off work at 5.30, go to the gym, work out for like two hours, two, three hours. Mind you, I don't get to the gym until like about close to six. Start work, I start working at six. Work out for like about two hours, two or three hours. Then, when I get done, I go home. And I try to cook. By the time I get done cooking, it's going to be like past the time I normally, I don't eat. So, I know some of y'all probably going to say, why don't you meal prep? Right, I, I, look, I do. But my thing is, when I meal prep, I got to do it on the weekends. But the thing is, on the weekends, like, matter of fact, on Sunday, matter of fact, I get home from church. Me, when I, when I get out of church, when I go home, y'all know about that at the church nap. <laughs> y'all know about that. When I get home, I be so tired. I be, I be like, I go home. Once I lay down, like that's it. I be, I fall asleep. Then when I wake up, it's already like almost close to me trying to get ready to prep myself for the week. And I ain't gonna have no time like to try cooking nothing, cause I'm gonna be so tired. And then mind you, I'm, I'm hungry, and I gotta eat for that night. So. Like, it's a lot. And, and I know, um, and, and I know, like, it's hard, like, but, like, for me, it's, it's kind of hard. Like, it, it was working with me for a little bit, but then once I saw, like, um, after a while, I started getting tired, and there's, like, a lot of stuff going on, because I also have a lot of other things that I have to, um, try to tend to, so it's kind of, like, hard for me to even try and meal prep. Because then I'm also I'm also um doing the content. I'm editing my videos. I'm um so getting workouts together. You know, I got all this stuff that I'm doing and it's and you know and y'all know it's hard. It, it is hard for it's hard for me. So if I'm like, I I'm, I'm only doing this part time, and I'm working a full time job, and I'm doing this part time. So like, if I was doing this full time, I would definitely have more than enough time to even do my meal preps and do all that other stuff. But overall, I need to try and get you know these different dishes together. So when I soon circle back around to this vegan diet. I'll be ready because I like to experiment different diets to see how my body reacts to it and see which one I'm going to stick to the most. So, so th this is, this is going to be, it's going to be a challenge. Ha. So the ribs, plat, and the fries are done. Y'all already know how I feel about that. That, that was, whew, I love that. Loved it, loved it. Now we're gonna get to the mac and cheese. We're gonna get to the mac and cheese. And just find my fork. I just had it. There it is. There it is. Oh, they also gave me this drink. I don't know if y'all ever heard of this um company. Um, I don't know how you say this name. It's San Pellegrino. It's an Italian sparkling drink, and it's Aranciata Rosa. 
and it's like the on it's an orange and blood orange um sparkling drink so it's, a, it's an italian drink i've never seen these before i must i must have but ain't never paid no mind but said i want to give this a try so let's see how this tastes real quick See how this tastes real quick. Mmm. Oh, this is good. This is delicious. Wow. Wow, this is good. <laughs> this is actually good. Wow, that, that was that's delicious. I can get in some more of that. All right. Now, the mac and cheese. Let's see how this tastes. Huh. Okay. Got the crumbs up top. Let's see how this goes here. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Well. Okay. Hmm. Trying to gather, trying to find where is the, trying to find majority of, okay, all right, I think you know where it's right about here, there it is, okay, it's not bad, the uh, mac and cheese isn't bad, they use the actual elbow noodles and they use their, um, their vegan cheese, to um, actually eat this. It's my first time eating this because I'm so used to regular mac and cheese. You know, with you know the Velveeta and all the other um, cheeses, you know. I'm used to that. So this, this is my first time having this. Um, having this. And it's not, it's not, it's not bad. It's not too bad. You know, you got a good texture, you know. You had, you know, the crunchy, um, the crumbs up on top of it. It's giving a little. Definitely giving. Kind of like this, okay. Giving a little. It's so so. Now, if I was a full fledged vegan, this would be my go to. And if I was full fledged vegan, this is where I will go for this. too bad not bad at all but and this is the me talking this is the regular me talking of not being a vegan I would prefer the regular I prefer regular mac and cheese. Like I want the cheese. I want to like when I dig into it. I want to see this, this cheese pull. You know, bake. You put it in the oven. You pull the thing. You know, I like. I like to see that. How my grand. How my mom cooks. How my grandmama cooks mac and cheese. Like I'm used to that. I, I'm used to that type of mac and cheese. You know. Like don't get me wrong. This is good. But. I prefer that. I mean, you get you do get the vegan cheese in there. I mean, the vegan cheese is good. It's not nasty. It's very tasty. Very, it's very tasty. 
But like I said, I'm used to the regular back, the regular type. Will I get this again? Yeah, I would. I would definitely get this again. It's about overall. I got that. Yeah. Wish I would have had hot sauce to put on this. Could have bought some hot sauce, but it's whatever. <laughs> Still good. As a matter of fact, next time I'm gonna pour it. I'm gonna put this. Should have put this in with the ribs. Had that barbecue sauce over it. And there's still some barbecue sauce on here that could drip. No, never mind. Yeah, nah, can't find that. Oh, wait a minute. I found more of the juices on the bottom. More of the cheese on the bottom. So more of the taste is on the bottom. There it is. Maybe I should have just mixed it around a little bit. Is it going straight into it? This is actually consistent. This is consistent with it. No okay. cap. You know, people really try to get me to eat pickles. I don't know why, but like, I just don't like pickles. I hate pickles. Pickles are disgusting. So all my pickle lovers out there, I'm sorry, but pickles are disgusting. I hate pickles. I never liked pickles, even when I was a kid. Wherever I got a um, Happy Meal or a kid's meal from a different restaurant, they gave me a burger, and I tasted pickles on it. I always took the pickles off because it was just disgusting, like, ew. I'm sorry, but I just don't like pickles. And everyone trying to get me to eat pickles, like, I don't understand why. Like, I don't see how people could eat pickles. Like, I'm sorry. I don't see how people could eat them. They're disgusting. They're nasty. They're just unnecessary. Yeah. I said it. So what? To all my pickles. As a matter of fact, to everybody out there, I'm going to um, post this question and y'all comment down below. Do y'all like pickles? Yes or no? Comment that. Comment yes or no. Or comment if you like pickles or not comment down yes i like pickles or no you know and just give your opinion on pickles so comment your opinion on pickles down below because y'all know where i stand on it i hate them i hate pickles like ill. so so don't argue with me don't don't argue with me it's my opinion I'm standing by it. Pickles are disgusting. And that's that. So. I don't care. What you say. So. Boom. Just like that. Mac and cheese is done. We are done. All right. Overall, this week's meal was given. No cap. This week's meal was actually good. The ribs <coughs> were straight 10 out of 10 for me. Fries, y'all already know that's a 10 out of 10 with the fries. The mac and cheese, I give that a 8.5 out of 10. It was enjoyable. I I liked it. This overall experience, like I said, this place, I had to come back here and try more of their food. So this week's meal, it was pretty good. So overall, nothing, nine out of 10 this week. But this week, man, because the ribs are 10 out of 10. I loved it. And this was my first time having it. So, say kudos to Savory Leaf Cafe. So, for all y'all in the Lawrenceville, Trenton, Ewan area, and Hamilton area, um, come over to Savory Leaf Cafe. 
they're a hundred percent vegan, hundred percent plant based. You, you will not be disappointed, you know, to all my vegans um, out there. Um, if you're looking to try something new and you're in the area, give them a try. Uh, I'll put their address and their um and the um social media everything in the description box below. Even to my non-vegans out there, if you're looking to try something new or you're looking like you know try a different diet and all that, come over here. You know, you definitely will enjoy their food. You def uh, you would definitely enjoy it. The food is amazing. Like I said, it's a hundred percent a hundred percent vegan, a hundred percent plant based. Um, the food, like, trust me, it it will fill you up, but it won't fill you up to the point where you be sluggish and weak. Like, you will get more energy after you eat their food. Trust me, you will. <laughs> but yeah, so come over here, you won't be disappointed. <laughs> all right. Well, that's the video, y'all. Thank you all so much for tuning in. If you haven't done so. Give this if you enjoyed this video, give this, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Also, turn on your post notifications so you'll be um, notified whenever I drop a brand new video. And also, don't forget to follow me on all social media platforms at Jeremy J Fit on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok. And also, if you're looking for more fitness and workout tips, hit me up on the gram or on Facebook and um. I will be glad to give you some more tips and also check out my videos so that way you'll be able to um see how I do things and I'll be sure to give y'all to help y'all out. Alright? But thank y'all so much. I really do appreciate it. And always remember, do great, be great, feel great. Alright? I love y'all. I'm out.